In this video, you'll see how to use CloudWatch Lambda Insights. With this new tool, you can monitor Lambda performance and aggregate system level metrics for your serverless applications and optimize Lambda functions through easy to use automatic dashboards. To get started, let's navigate to CloudWatch. Lambda Insights is a new feature of CloudWatch that allows advanced logging and application tracing for single Lambda functions as well as for multifunction architectures. Let's go to the AWS Lambda console to see the functions for a sample web application that we have already set up. Let's select a function to see how to enable monitoring using Lambda Insights. The Lambda Insights option can be found on the function's Configuration tab under Monitoring Tools. When CloudWatch Lambda Insights is enabled, the Lambda console adds a layer to the function and verifies the execution role's permissions. This is the Lambda Insights extension layer. It collects system-level metrics and emits a log event for every invocation of that Lambda function. Let's return to CloudWatch. Selecting Multifunction brings up a dashboard of metrics for all Lambda functions in our account that have Lambda Insights enabled. In this case, four Lambda functions are enabled. The graphs display their shared metrics. Hovering over a function isolates that function's metrics in all of the graphs. Hovering over individual points in the graph shows a pop-up overview of that point's data. Each graph can be expanded and filtered. We can also filter all the graphs at once. We can add these Lambda performance monitoring metrics to an existing or new CloudWatch dashboard. This newly created dashboard can be further customized to contain only some or all Lambda Insights functions for our application, as well as CloudWatch metrics graphs and data views for other AWS services. Let's return to Lambda Insights. At the bottom of the screen, we can see a function summary, which is helpful for identifying over- and underutilized Lambda functions. We can select an individual function to view it in Lambda or view its performance or application logs in CloudWatch. We are now in CloudWatch Logs Insights, where we can run a ready-made log query to select the application logs relating to our Lambda function. This is a histogram of all log records recorded for our function. Let's take a quick look at one of the logs. Next, let's look at the function's performance logs. Again, our query has returned a histogram and list of logs. We can click on a log entry to view more data. The log stream URL for the entry displays a page of related log events in embedded metric format, or EMF. Expanding a log event reveals the JSON output of the data. Notice the namespace called Lambda Insights, which shows we are collecting metrics under two dimensions. This data is collected in CloudWatch metrics. Let's take a quick look. As you can see, we have a custom namespace for Lambda Insights. These are the two dimensions we saw in the JSON output. We can delve deeper to see the metrics for each dimension. Let's select a metric for the same function we saw earlier. With CloudWatch Lambda Insights enabled, we are able to view graphed metrics, create alarms, and perform all the actions we can perform on other CloudWatch metrics. Let's return to Lambda Insights to view tracing information. When we click on a function's name, we are presented with the single function Lambda Insights view. Let's view the most recent 1,000 invocations. We can sort by highest network I.O. usage to see trace information for a potentially anomalous invocation. Since the invocation with the highest network I.O. usage has tracing enabled, we can select the View link for more information. This trace map shows an interactive schematic of information traversal within our application architecture. Hovering over the node for the Lambda function provides a quick overview of the latency, requests, and faults at the time of this invocation. 
Selecting the node enables us to view logs for the function, traces, and dashboard, all of which we saw earlier. Below the trace map is a trace summary with basic information about the invocation. The segments timeline shows how services that play a role in the function's request and response contribute to duration, as well as their respective status and response codes. Selecting a component in this view enables us to view its log entries at the bottom of the page. Beginning here, we can see segment graphs for each of our Lambda functions. Beneath the segments timeline are segment details and metadata for the selected component's contribution to the invocation. And, at the bottom of the page, we can see the logs related to the selected component. You've just seen how to use CloudWatch Lambda Insights. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.